G'day, how are you? My name's Alvi. Good on you for tuning in. I live in Loja, Ecuador, and I've lived here now since May 2022. I like to make videos about what it's like to live in Ecuador, both the good and the bad. I recently did an epic bus trip all the way from Loja down the mountains to the coast of Ecuador. I made a video about that if you haven't checked it out yet. Take a look, it's got some good information about the bus system here. So I've got my ticket to Playas. The bus that takes me there leaves from level 2 of this bus station. The first place I stayed at was a small beach town called Playas Bia Mil. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably know some Spanish, you know that Playas just means beaches. So if you want to actually Google this city, you got to look up be a mill or general be a mill or plias be a mill but most people here just call it plias plias be a mill is a small beach town about 25,000 people and if you go to their website it'll tell you that it used to be a fishing town and uh, you know, have a little bit of agriculture, but now its main revenue comes from tourism. So, <sighs> let's, let's talk about the good things first. All right, we'll do that. Pias Biamil is rustic as. If you like rustic beach towns, you're going to love this. It also has tuk-tuks. They're everywhere and they're so cheap. You can get from one side of the town to the other for like 75 cents. They're super fun. They are quicker than my stepmom popping the cork on a midday bottle of champers. <laughs> It's a small town, but there's restaurants everywhere. As usual, I ate where the locals eat, and it was great and fun and <laughs> awesome music, and people were friendly. Uh, I don't like fish, so I'm not gonna try any ceviche for ya. Sorry, <laughs> that's just not my jam. But there's plenty of places you can get it. I mean, it's all over the place, even on the beach. Playas Biamil has a small town Ecuadorian feel. It's not completely overrun by high-end fancy hotels yet, and maybe it never will be. Hey kitty. So having said that, there is a fair amount of new construction. You know, there's, there's like one big new high-rise resort and a couple on the outskirts of town, and you'll see a bunch of new apartment buildings going up. Uh, so the Airbnb that I stayed in was a brand new building, and uh, it was super nice. It was very close to the beach. Uh, and it was just south of town. Unfortunately, the area that, that it was in had building alarms going off pretty much constantly. And you know what? That was fine because that prevented me from hearing the sounds of sea turtles dragging themselves up the beach through all the trash and choking on plastic cups. Here's the Airbnb I've been staying in in Playas. in a nice back street you know there's a lot of 
very special wildlife that lives here. There are sea turtles who come ashore to lay their eggs. There's all kinds of birds here, including the famous blue-footed boobies that people go to the Galapagos to see. They live here too. You can see them in Playa's Bia Mill. But in Playa's Bia Mill, they're probably living on a diet of plastic bottle caps and fucking fishing line. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Not only are the beaches covered in rubbish, there's rubbish and trash all over town. I stayed just south of town and it was only like a two minute walk to the beach, but when I walked to the beach, I had to walk past this massive pile of trash, uh, which had clearly been there for a very long time. And there were piles of garbage like this everywhere. The only place in town that didn't have trash like this was like the main downtown, you know, where all the restaurants are. But you don't have to walk very far at all before you start to see piles of trash like this. You probably know, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know you cannot flush your toilet paper here in Ecuador. Uh, you have to, you know, wipe your butt and fold it up and put it in a little bin next to the toilet. Then you, uh, you know, tie up that bag and chuck it in the trash. Well, those bags are ripped open by dogs and you end up with little wads of scrunched up toilet paper with skid marks on them all over the street. So toilet paper with human feces on the street, they look like little brown and white butterflies <laughs> just everywhere, all over the street. I mean, this is human waste we're talking about. Loja also has problems with trash. And as soon as you get outside of the downtown tourist area, uh, the neighborhood streets are covered in garbage. But the difference is Loja is not promoting itself as a world-renowned tourist destination. Minneapolis was also covered in trash. Every spring when, this, when the snow melts, uh, the streets are absolutely covered in garbage. Six months worth of garbage that people threw out of their cars into the snow. So Heather and I used to go and clean it up. And in Minneapolis there were neighborhood organizations that would organize regular trash pickups. But that doesn't seem to happen here in Ecuador. All right, so how do I sum this up? <laughs> I know it's tempting to say this is the city's problem, the city needs to clean this up, but that's just not going to happen. Look, if I lived there, I would organize. I would start the process, get the ball rolling, and we would have some trash pickups. There's got to be some people there that are as disgusted with the trash as I was when I visited. There has to be. Uh, I mean, it's just awful. And it's heartbreaking to see the local environment being destroyed like that. It's just a, it's terrible to think of the turtles and all the birds uh, and all the other animals that have to live amongst that garbage. Now, it's not like this town doesn't have money. There is money in this town. I mean, there's a brand new air-conditioned mall uh, with all kinds of high-end clothing stores and a grocery store in it. Um, there's the, uh, you know, the high-rise hotel that we mentioned. There is money. And of course, there's all these new apartment buildings going up. For some reason, nobody so far has seemed to take the initiative to organize and try to clean it up. Maybe some locals who are watching this can help me out and sort of <laughs> explain why this situation exists. I mean, this town markets itself as a world-renowned tourist destination, yet it is covered in trash. Do people not see that that's a problem? I just don't understand. If you're a tourist town and you want to attract tourists, it can't be like that. They can't be wads of toilet paper with human feces blowing down the street, <laughs> getting eaten by dogs.
All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you found this informative, um, give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers. All right.